What is going on YouTube? Check this out. There's like two-stroke haven out here. All these two-strokes. We got Betas, we got KTMs, we even got our Yamaha over there. Oh, that's a four-stroke. One four-stroke. But uh, yeah, out in Baldy Mesa, uh, getting in some riding after some torrential rains. I gotta say, this rain is actually, I thought it'd be awesome, but it's kind of slippery as crap. Um, like, it, it's super freaking greasy almost. So, it's been interesting. Uh, you kind of you kind of get all this nice feel of traction and all of a sudden the whole bike slides out from under you. Um, it's, been, it's been, you know, a little bit to get used to. Anyway, uh, we don't really have a plan. We're just kind of doing what we're doing. Um, I think we're just kind of going to head in. Actually, we're going to head towards the snow. I might have been dumb to not grab a hoodie. That'll be that'll be fun later. Oh, oh. this stuff sucks. Jesus. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, my God. This stuff sucks. <laughs> Oh, come on. Jesus. My back tire is throwing. Oh, yeah, that's that's what's happening today. It's probably going to be a lot of that. This should be fun. Yeah, it's uh this forerunner over here. Well, <laughs> this guy's having an issue, the forerunner's having an issue. It it's ridiculously ridiculously slippery out here. Not a fan. Um, apparently, when we get up to the higher ground, it's supposed to be better. So, where there is traction, oh Jesus, where there is traction is not bad. Oh God, that went in, that, the water just got in my mouth. I feel like I'm complaining way too much for the beginning of this video. I should just be happy that I'm here, having fun with my buddies and yeah it could be worse it could be raining pouring storming like it did last ride and I freaking feel like I could have gotten hypothermia it was so damn cold all right that's my goal today is not complain about anything we're just gonna have fun all right so we got Rob in front of us he's uh he's the guy that lives out here so if we're going to follow somebody, it's probably best to follow him. Did we lose anybody? So, I'm running the golden tires. The front's the 216. And the rear's that uh, 333 or something like that. Um, but I'm running them in, I'm running the front in like a, the 8100, which is more of like a traditional track tire. Usually everyone runs it in like 9100 or even, or 9090. Um, it's a super narrow tire, like unusually narrow. It is, I measured it, and this 8100 is three millimeters more narrow than my other 8100s. Um, kind of weird. So it does some things really good and some things not. And unfortunately, the soft stuff, the really slippery mud, it does terrible on. All right, I think we're going. I think we're going up that thing. Check that freaking gorgeous bike out. So this is Chris. Uh, I'll try to, I don't know if I could do, oh. Um, try to do like a YouTube, I don't know how to YouTube, uh, Instagram handle thingy. But anyway, brand new 2023 300 race edition. Uh, he wasn't sure if he should get the standard edition or the race edition. We were all saying that the, the KYBs are so freaking good on the race editions. And he was saying that he is very happy he went with it. Um, I gotta say, I've actually ridden with him a few times, and I think he's, <laughs> I think he's already faster on this bike than his uh, his four stroke. That's pretty cool. Everyone's getting these Beta 300s, baby. Woo! Oh, I gotta get my music on. 
music on, sweet. What is this, offspring? Yep, offspring, woo! Old school offspring. I don't even know if there is new school offspring. Oh God, oh God, don't. Nope, oh, all right. Damn. I, yeah, I was about to say, I get a little momentum. He's freaking tractoring that thing. Wow, that's nice. Holy crap. I know, I have to do it. <laughs> Okay, this is not as bad as I thought it'd be. Just gotta stay way on the seat, on the back of the seat. I'm just gonna let the clutch out. Yeah, buddy. Call, oh, there he is. Wait, are we missing one or no? Oh, he's, I think he's Colin's up the rear. Yeah, I thought, are we, oh, I guess we are. I thought we're missing one more though. Wait, I thought we had one more. But no, I guess that's it. That's two, yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. two, four, six. Okay, so we're only six, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we still have it. All right, so. Should, oh, God, I'm going to get hosed right now. <laughs> A clutch work, no big deal. So here's a fun little story. Um, earlier today, my my bike was making a noise, and it kind of had a bearing squeal sound to it, and it kind of freaked me out. Um, turns out my horn that I still have on this bike, because it's street legal, was shorting out and just kind of making this like ee! So if you have a, a dirt bike with a horn and you hear some weird ass noise, uh, check your connections or, you know, because if a little bracket breaks, if the, if the little bracket breaks, you're probably going to get that same, that same short that I got. And it's funny because apparently it happened to one of the other guys on this ride. He was a... Uh, it's a low, very low, like, dee, 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 you know, so you, your instant thought is that something's wrong with your engine, but check it out before you start tearing apart your freaking, your engine there, your, your bottom end. I don't know if I've ever ridden in stuff like this before. This is crazy. I mean, I'm sure that like, well, A, I, oh, I don't know if it shows up on film as ridiculous as it is. And B, I know that like you guys in other states are like, you guys are freaking pansies. Um, oh, Jesus. But uh, <laughs> same thing. But yeah, in, in Southern California, where we don't really get a lot of weather, you know, maybe once every major, major weather once every 20 years, this is a whole new world for us. And yeah, my. Uh, <laughs> It's, it is fun though. It's probably really boring to watch. I think part of the problem is I don't know how to ride this stuff. It's not like sand. Oh, I just got mud down my neck. That's weird. Super weird. <laughs> Everyone else. I think everyone else is uh, having the same learning curve that we are. <laughs> well, you know, the good thing about this is that I haven't been posting videos recently because my videos feel like they've all been the same. But this feels definitely different. This is There are no mud videos on my channel. You guys all good? Yeah. All right. All right, we kind of need like a little, oh, I guess we're going this way, okay. We need like a little stretch of uh, of like open road just to get the mud off of our tires. We all look like we're running brown slicks. Where are we going? 
down, down. And down and up. Woo, and down. <laughs> I love these beta brakes, man. They, uh, they are super grabby. That's cool. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! <laughs> oh, how did this one go? Um, I think either way works because they both end up on that road. So these golden tires, uh, it's actually the a tire that Colin runs pretty often. Colin's in front of me right now. And he was saying that he's really surprised at how like you can kind of like side straddle a hill and they stay, they don't slide down. And I totally get what he's saying. It actually, they really, you can kind of stay on the, on an edge. Here, I'm gonna go out on purpose there. But, um, but he was saying when you kind of get into a rut, they tend to like almost climb out. So, it's a trade-off, I guess. <laughs> Take it, taking the hard way. <laughs> All right, it's starting to dry out down here. Finally, that's nice. Man, this, this trail is kind of jacked up with some rain ruts here. Oh. I think, uh, all right, where's the, the run up is there, I think. slower than last time. Someone's got to film you. Okay, trying the 2023 
Beta 300 race edition with the different engine layout, the uh, over square engine. And I will say it, it's, it is smoother as far as uh, I could definitely feel less vibration. I mean, it's not, oh, nice. My bike doesn't bug me as far as vibration, but it's smoother, you can tell. Oh, the shock is good. It's like very similar to the forks that it just like, oh, it just stays uh, high in the stroke. That's nice. Oh. oh man, I like this. I feel like uh, it doesn't quite have the the bottom end pole that mine does, so I'm probably not going through the whoops as fast. But it's also brand new. I think it's got like an hour and a half on it. Oh yeah. All right, so I'd say the suspension needs like a little bit of adjustment, but I love how this shock is like really balanced. Like it doesn't kick at all. It just stays nice and straight. Yeah, this is cool. I don't know where I'm going. I'm going the wrong way. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Nope, going the wrong way. Shoot. Yep. This bike feels like it kind of rolls into the corners a little better. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. Like that and that. Gosh. This is going to be interesting. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Come on, traction, traction, traction. There we go. Woo! <laughs> All right. This is, uh, this place is actually, this is a lot of fun normally. Um, this is just adds a very unusual element that I'm not used to at all. It's like really muddy stuff. It's fun though, it's something different. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa, rain rut. <laughs> that's what no that's what he said that's what he said <laughs> I got you I am moral support <laughs> Woo! yeah buddy <laughs> I know I told you to get in the rut but I just I changed my mind I'll be up here <laughs> 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 
Actually, no, I gotta go. I don't wanna hit this snow. I'm gonna go in the rut too. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. Oh, dude, you can hear this stuff. It's so thick. Oh my God, dude, it's like cement. Oh. We just need to drive these things into a pool after this. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, this is nuts. <laughs> Dude, the rear brake does nothing. The brakes, they do nothing. <laughs> oh, you started a landslide. Oh, you're no longer my rut brother. You're rut slut. Oh, a little slippery down here too. Oh, Jesus. All right. At this point, I might as well just hit the puddles and clean the bike up a little bit. Yeah, All good, bud? Yep. This might go a little bit. Oh wow, this is pretty. This is pretty nasty. <laughs> oh, this is super jacked up. Oh. Man, you gotta be like bouncing off the back of the seat, basically. Let me try to, I'm gonna try and put it in the rain mode, just see if that helps. Oh, I got again. Uh, interesting and probably super boring to watch on uh, on camera. <laughs> nice. Oh wow! All right. You want to keep going? Sure. It's always fun to film somebody. Oh, oh. Nice. Nice. All right, so Chris and I kind of did our own thing for a little bit. We were playing up in these hills in the snow, which you probably saw, um, which was kind of cool. It was like, at first I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it because I'm kind of tired and hungry. Well, not tired, I'm hungry. Um, tired of being hungry, how about that? Um, 
but you know it's kind of i don't know it's every once in a while it's one of those things where you you go and you challenge yourself and you're you're glad you did it so this is one of those situations all right and we're back catch up with you guys on the next one